Is it as black and white as like this goal is my ego wanting to achieve this goal or this goal is divine essence? Like is it really black and white or is it there's this goal and then whichever of the two the real the real you or the the illusion you man manifests in it? In the realization of who you are, you, the, the, that question will fade. If it's something you want to create, you just find yourself creating. Oh, I want to create this. This is beautiful. The difference is that it's not a desire that's driving you, but instead you're driving the desire. the difference okay. see desire is not a bad thing desire can be an absolutely amazing uh, ecstatic beautiful beautiful thing desire is one of the most uh, burning desire is an essential part of creating on the playground playing on the playground it's an essential part of life artistry. But are you driving the desire? Or is the desire driving me? Ego is always driven by this thing. Where does the desire come from that ego is being driven by? Can come from any number of sources. Most of them are past plantings, things that have been planted from commercials or something you overheard or conversations you had or ideology that's been planted in your mind and it's these things that are driving it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with any of those things. And when I realize what it is, if I feel that I'm in pursuit of something that is not present, then it's, it's a simple recognition that that is an energy that you, you're going to exhaust yourself. You're trying to accomplish something that's not present. You're looking to a future moment. Life artistry is about the divine creating within, in the moment, and allowing that moment to be the space that the thing you're creating unfolds in. So I'm not looking outside of myself anymore. Instead, I'm looking within, creating there fully realizing that all things that manifest come from here. I want them to come from here and so I spend the time to shape and create here. I don't need it to happen outside of me. I don't need it to happen in a certain timeline or if I feel that there's some sort of emotional attachment or something that is happening that's when you return to the breath return home because your mind is separated from your body But in the realization of who you are, the question fades. You simply, essence doesn't need to ask the question, is it me that's creating or not? Right? Uh -huh. Just is. 
and and know this that even when ego even when who you believe you are has created things you it's a real easy to tell at some point frustration and the aggravation and the misery will hopefully the more you awaken the less miserable it becomes but you know so instead of deep misery it becomes a little less you know it's hey, I'm not comfortable I'm frustrated or I'm angry about it or I'm disappointed but it's no longer like deep heartache and misery mm-hmm. you know so it continues but you go oh well there was there was another believed self but what layer was it that I was believing which what was this that I was identifying in or believing and how can I let that go and so last night you said the fear that when you looked into the fire and I said the universe is in that fire you said there's a fear that I don't a feeling that I don't want it to be over or I don't want it to be do you remember exactly what you said yeah, like when, when this moment is all it's real, like when that hits of, oh, it, this is all there is, there's a part of me that likes it and there's a part of me that doesn't like that. Right, once there to be more. Yeah. Right. And so, um, well, what part of you wants there to be more than that? This is what you have to find. Because when you are able to identify it clearly, you're more able, you're e- it's more easily let go of. It just, oh, I see it. When someone has an idea of the perfect dream house, they, since they were a young child, had this idea of what that perfect dream house was going to be. They always had this envisioned and they learned to draw color and paint and they began as a small child coloring this perfect dream house and it got more elaborate in their mind and more elaborate and more elaborate until as a youth and a young adult now they're able to draw such beautiful pictures of their dream house they don't just have it in their mind but they've actually have its own sketch in sketchbooks and sketch pads and they go to buy their first home and it's not that dream house well okay we're working our way we're working our way to this thing so we'll start here I don't really like it it may be a beautiful home but they're not satisfied with it and they have that for a few years and they sell that home to try to move up still unable to afford their dream house getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. And then they get fired from their job. And they can't find another job. And they lose the house that they were unsatisfied with. And they have not yet achieved that dream house. How bad do they feel? Probably pretty bad. Pretty bad. Or the one that has an idea of what job they want to have, the profession they want to have. See, if when you identify in something, when the ego, the ego, the belief self is identified, has these these ideas planted in its mind and 
identifies in certain things and when it identifies in something it is always trying to increase that or improve upon that or become something like the ego is never satisfied so what is the who is the you that's is saying there's got to be more than this moment sitting around this fire on silent retreat there's got to be more than this moment is it the you that's worked hard for four years for a degree? Is it a believed part of you that wants something more than, you know, like wants to create something or have something or find something? Where is that coming from? Maybe it's still part of you that says, I want to be seen as a success. And in order to do that, I have to follow this narrative I have to become I have to come to the end of this narrative I have to become something I have to have something I don't know But only the ego looks outside of the moment. The only thing that's found there is discontentment and sadness, frustrations, misery, to some degree. It's the only thing that's found there. Thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up, comment, thoughts, questions in the section below. Let us know what you want to hear from us. Subscribe to our channel for more life-changing content. And as always, check the section below for our website, for live events, where we'll be, what we're up to, more about us, and our online school website is listed below as well. We love you. We're glad you're here. We want to hear from you. We're in this with you.